Hello Earthlings, Neutron Sound back again, slinging those album reviews your way. This past week two albums have reared their heads. Uh, tomorrow I will be examining the new Temples album, Volcano, but today I will be examining California's Burning, the debut album from Matt Jaffe and oh my god Schwarzenegger left The Apprentice the distractions. These guys come from the same California county as me, so I thought that having heard pretty much all of these songs, or most of them live, beforehand might impede my judgment of the album, but they managed to keep the live feel uh, for most of the album. The uh, one exception is the opening track, Love is Just a Drug. This song fits on the album like If You Leave Me Now fits on Chicago X. I am not knocking the quality of the songwriting. It's a great love song, slightly jazz-influenced, especially when uh, Paul Paldino does the walking bass line during the guitar solo from uh, Adam Nash, who is no longer with the band. Neither is uh, Thomas Yopes, the drummer on this album. But Adam does some nice playing, nice guitar effects during the verses and choruses, and it's a great song, but it's a red herring. I mean, uh, which is appropriate for a band called The Distractions, but it's still a red herring. Mainly because of the production quality being uh, much cleaner. I don't want to say better, but it's much it's crystal clean. It lacks the grit of the following 11 tracks, despite being a quality song and not out of line for what Matt is known for doing. And, and it's got some awesome octave guitars as well. Maybe those are 12 strings with some big reverb on them. Anyway, I think that Wander No More, the next track, should have been the opener, as it has more of the salient characteristics of Matt's work. It's got the fast tempos. Most of his songs are fast tempos. Um, pure rock and roll energy. Uh, what might be called Western Gothic lyrics. It's, it's like Southern Gothic, but for California. Same thing goes with uh, Fire on the Freeway. It continues the grittiness and you can tell it was recorded in a sweaty studio with uh, very little overdubbing. Fire on the Freeway answers the age-old question, what if John Fogarty played with Status Quo or possibly Canned Heat? But it's um, a nice obvious fusion of uh, punk rock, boogie rock, and uh, hard rock and just rock. It rocks. Obviously it's a bit dated with what's been happening in California as of late, but it still paints a vivid portrait of when we had that seemingly endless drought there. Hellhounds of Alcatraz is a love song to San Francisco in Matt's twisted way. You know, you can see San Francisco, he points out all the landmarks, and uh, it's just another good song. Track five is I Wanna Be Cruel. Yes, at last, a ballad! This is the first song of Matt's I covered, uh, and it's also one of two songs that were originally on the band's EP Blast Off, although, uh, again, here, given the lo-fi treatment, Adam has some nice lickage that he adds to this track, and Matt has a nice sitar tone on the one lead lick he plays on this. Write a Song About Me is another fast, slightly country rocker with western gothic lyrics, um, also resurrected from the Blast Off EP and given a lo-fi treatment here. Not much has changed with the arrangement other than the addition of the harmony vocals, which suit it. Locomotive Lightning is another fast country type rocker, although lyrically it is a cousin of Fire on the Freeway. You know, I've gotta leave California because it's burning, so I'm gonna get on a train. I mean, Locomotive Lightning is even a lyric in Fire on the Freeway. Here comes the Mothership. Adam plays all the guitars on this one. It's a nice change of pace, even though it's faster. And I like how the chorus is initially quieter, or maybe that's a pre-chorus, because, because then you get the real chorus after it. One of the best on the album, but uh, not as good as Babies on a Bender. This is my absolute favorite track of the album. It's also home to the only inverted chord of the album, so kudos to you, Paul, for that. Or Matt, if 
you're the one who wrote it into the song, but it's on the fourth line of the main section, and uh, it gives it a bit more of a sophisticated sound. You know, it shows they've got more in them than just punk, if, uh, if Paul's nickname Clean Baby Funk wasn't a giveaway enough. Red Snow is another ballad of the album, although like the new version of I Wanna Be Cruel, it's got that lo-fi grit that defines this album so much, giving it a live feel. I don't have much to say, although I'm I'm not sure about having harmony vocals from the get-go. I would have liked to hear Matt sing the first section alone. But I like how they've mixed it up with an acoustic. And then the last original song on the album, Tomorrow's On Our Side, I had been calling Drive to the Border, basically from the moment I heard it to the moment I heard it in the context of this album, and saw that the title wasn't what I thought it was. And it's another nice, um, characteristically matte rocker about driving to the border, because we're invincible and other feel-good stuff. And track 12 is a cover of a very well-known song, one of Matt's musical heroes. And Thomas gets a great drum sound on this song. It's not as high quality a production as Love is Just a Drug, which is good, because then it doesn't stick out too much. And it's a really appropriate song. I won't tell you what it is, because you can just look it up. And it's so famous that you know, and they definitely do it justice. So all in all, this is a really good collection of songs, but I would have put a lo-fi version of Love Is Just A Drug on here. But uh, all in all, it's an excellent collection of songs and one cover, and it really captures the spirit of their live shows. So that's it for this review. Obviously, this is just my opinion. I'm dying to know yours. Let me know in the comments, and uh, tune in tomorrow for my uh, Temples album review. But until next time, this is Neutron Sound signing off. Go forth and be cruel.